Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Emerald Dragon. One more thing we can do. Pick up the Demon Helm, the most defensive helmet in the game, although it kinda where is it sucks because it also lowers your other points by 20, so or other stats, I should say, so yeah, I wouldn't use it. It's not worth it, since defense doesn't even really count for a whole lot <laughs> at this point either. But anyway, also last time we got Sushiant's bow, which, well, they don't actually say so, but it's cursed right now. <laughs> it's not terribly good, points minus 10, although it does raise intelligence and agility. Uh, the composite bow is actually a little stronger right now, as it turns out, but uh, I will be using this eventually, just purely for the agility boost, really, mostly, but uh, yeah, I'll keep the composite bow for now. And yeah, he's not, we're just going to leave his body there, because why not? Huh? Oh, come on! He's not still! What the? Holy crap, it's Garcia. Oh, right, the, the Avesta, we kind of forgot about that. Whoops. Really? Give me a break, dude! Man. For what? What are you doing? You're making the earth shake? I mean, that is kind of a big deal, but... Huh? Demon Palace? Oh yeah, I never actually showed you where the Demon Palace was. It's in the middle of the water, <laughs> or middle of the ocean, so... Yeah, right over there, so... I don't know how it got there, but I have magic, I presume. Oh, no! What? Oh, no. What? Are you serious? A floating castle? <laughs> it's like Final Fantasy VI or Seeking of Mana all over again. Of course there's a flying castle or location or whatever we have to go to eventually, huh? And this is all through the power of the Avesta? Watch what? What did you just do? Yeah, that's what I said. It sank the island? Kefka copycat! I mean, that's basically what he did at one point. I mean, when he was, like, you know, throwing lasers around and crap. But anyway. Well, crud. Yeah, that island and the town on it are kind of gone now, but as far as I'm aware, there's no way we could have gone there before anyway. Well, crap. There's no more monsters here, by the way. So we're just going to walk out of here real quick. Oh, and you guys are here. Oh, you are. Oh, you're not going to fight anymore? Priestess of the Old Gods is on Great Kasha Island, huh? Oh, okay, awesome. Sounds easy enough. Uh, something else about the Priestess, hey? Okay. Oh, yeah, Virgil, home of the renowned Dr. Waramol. All right. 
Yes, it has. Oh, really? All right. I don't know why, but okay. We will. And uh, yeah, we do get some party talk that uh, would have been exactly the same if I had done this before uh, the whole event that just happened, so. Oh yeah? Yeah, they just said that, so. Of course! Really? We need the Playboy to fight the Demon King? Well, okay. Oh yeah? He's so skilled, it's scary! Oh, is he? A little nuts, huh? Everyone's a little nuts, no problem! Anyway. Yeah, getting out of there, we need to go all the way down to, uh, Virgil there, so... It's actually quite a ways. Not that it's that overall difficult to get to, but... Hmm, I'm gonna have to actually do a little bit of healing after that, uh, big old battle back there, too. Whoops. <laughs> oh, you know what I haven't been paying attention to? Attrition speed. I wonder if he was, uh... Oh, no, he, he wasn't. He wasn't faster than, uh, Karshwarl back there, so any... Where is it? Oh, are you new monsters? Oh, you are new monsters! I didn't realize you were this close. Huh, oh, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, we got that living jewel there. We got that, I believe he's called Stone Hunter. He actually hits pretty hard. Yeah, get rid of that little guy and then go out to the Stone Hunter, would ya? Because, you know, he's the next closest enemy. And you do something useless, like give him... Why are you powering him up? He's never gonna get another turn. What the heck was that? I have no idea what that's supposed to do. <laughs> Usually that guy's dead before he gets to use it, but I have no clue what it's supposed to do. Oh, there's the bridge. It's like, where'd it go? <laughs> Anyway, we kind of got to go a little long ways around. Oh, another new enemy. Hi, Headless. Not that he's... I mean, he's fast. But other than that, he's not too bad. Oh, right, here's the path that we need to follow. Oh, and the Killer Samurai here, too. What do you know? Okay, awesome. You just die, all right? I don't, we don't need you around. Oh, well. He's probably gonna get a hit in. Oh, well. Easy enough. I guess maybe, yeah, if it increases agility with his own bow, it might have helped, but... Man, it's a long way. Ah! One freaking step away! But at least I did get a level up. What are your points right now? I haven't been paying attention to that either. Ooh, 24. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, we're in the town of Virgil! Promo of the famous Dr. Warmall. And we got the Wagon Man that I'll actually be taking advantage of uh, soon enough. Oh, they did, huh? Oh, from here, huh? I guess this is technically Great Kasha Island that we're on right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we got this guy over here, but... Hmm. Oh, yeah? Get out of here! Okay. As opposed to get over here, huh? Anywho, we got, uh... Actually, quite a number of shops here that we can take advantage of. Yeah, no kidding. How does everybody already know about the Avesta? I guess it's like part of the legend or something, but anyway, yeah, I've got, uh, well, that's Warhammer's place down there, but yeah, we'll check out the, oh, can I get clear potions here? I need, I can't forget to get those, because those are going to be, like, really important, like, now. 
Oh, good. Oh, yeah, we can also buy Crash Rubies, finally. Not that we... I mean, they're kind of expensive, but... Yeah, I'm gonna need, uh... Several of those. In the near future, potentially. And for most of the rest of the game, too. So, uh, yeah, now I'll go shopping real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've done all my shopping, and already sold all my excess stuff in uh, Irvon as well. Uh, I've basically only kept the, uh, the only thing that's really important, well, you can't sell Soshian's bow or the silver ring, but I would keep the bunny gloves if you don't have the protect ring, and, uh, again, I'm just never sentimental values, and then I don't have, I haven't sold any of the bunny equipment because why not? <laughs> anyway, got uh, quite a bit of new stuff to, to buy here. I'm surprised I was able to afford it all without selling anything, so... Although I do have tons of money right now, but yeah, we, here we want to, uh, well, we can ignore the magic plate. When you get three mithril chains for Kosra, Atrushin, and Sociant there, you'll see I haven't gotten anything for uh, Tamarin. It, I like the agility boost on her uh, current armor a little better. Yeah, this is much better for, well, especially Sociant there, so. We got the Rune Buckler, which, uh... Well, only a true can really have. I mean, I guess I could get it for Tamarin if she didn't have the silver uh, ring or the protect ring, but... Then we got the Mithril Helm, the best helmet money can buy for uh, Kostra and Atrushin there, so... Yeah, all's well there. And then in the weapon shop, not a whole lot to buy there. Ah, uh, yes, and I do know their characteristics. These don't really... They're not really that expensive. Well, yeah, actually, no, they're not. Got the Night Rapier that no one can equip. And then the Almighty Trident for Kostra. It's a little less uh, agility and uh, intelligence than the Diamond Hammer. Let's see, Diamond Hammer, intelligence, and agility were 25 and 30, as opposed to this one's 3 and 23. But it also increases points by 4. Uh, is a flat-out upgrade in attack power from the Diamond Hammer, 179 to 380, and it only costs 6 points to use. It's probably one of the best weapons you can get for Kostra, really. I mean, as far as, uh, I don't know, point-wise, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, he actually has pretty decent points now, finally, for once, and his stats are okay, although his lack of uh, a good shield has left him a little behind Etrusion there. But, eh, all is well, all is well. And then Socian also finally has at least decent defense, I suppose, but... Yeah, oh, I, I might, I'll probably equip him with the, uh, of his bow soon enough, but... For now, I'm gonna leave the composite bow, which is a little stronger. Yeah, otherwise, back here... Oh, have I talked to you yet? Wait. Oh, uh, yes, I did. do, 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 do. do. Somebody said there, like, back in the City of the Dead, someone said their father lived on Kasha Island, but I don't know which one. And I've never actually, I don't think we actually actually get to meet, I'm not sure if we ever meet that person either, so. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Surely it can't be important to the plot! Well, obviously it's important to the plot, I mean, he's here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little north of here. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, I've already been there for at least everyone except for Sada, so. Yeah, we did! Yeah, there's that. Hmm. But of course, now we got another casino! Yeah, so of course I got interrupted right in the middle of taking, uh, <laughs> this bunny on. Which, this is the one that, this is one that's actually, uh, timed, so. <laughs> it's like, I can't really, like, pause here, but anyway, yeah, the best, I don't know where he gets this idea where she has the best manners necessarily, she just doesn't really talk all that differently from the other sisters. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be 5,000 pars, which, well, it's not really expensive, but I suppose in this case it kind of is. For Bunny Pink. 15 puzzle, which, well, it's not that difficult, really. Sure! You just said that. Also, let's save state this real quick, because I don't want to have to pay that again. 
Just in case I screw up, even though this one's not that difficult. Mm hmm. Yes, select the panel with A button and move it with the uh, directional pad. Basically, she's gonna tell us to line up. Well, in this case, it'll be a Trushin because he's the only one that has four pictures up there. But she'll tell us to line it up either in a particular row or a particular column. Usually, it's the top row. So far for me, like usually in the fourth row from the t oh, so the bottom. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not that difficult to move everything around, so... Yeah, it's pretty darn easy to do. That's the first time ever she's ever asked me to do the very bottom. Yeah, one time she asked me to do, like, the second column. <laughs> from the the left, and, and I threw myself off because I started putting it in the first column, and it's like, oh, wait, crap! <laughs> it's like, oh, well. Uh, oh, sure. Can we get the bunny clothes? Which are, well, they're better than what we could buy for Tamron here, actually, but, uh... Oh, yeah? Anyway. Yeah, bunny clothes, they're, I think they're like, what are they, like 12 points stronger than the other armor we could buy here, I think, or something like that. Oh, there it is. Right on top of it. Oh, no, like 15 points stronger, but, and it raises intelligence and agility by a little bit, but not as big of an agility boost as what Tamron currently has, which I think is like, what is it, like 26 or something, but... So, uh, since her defense doesn't really matter that much, especially since it's actually pretty high right now, anyway, thanks to that, uh, protect ring, uh, I don't really feel it's necessary to give her that. Yeah, I'd rather have her with the other agility boost. How is her agility right now? 85? Oh, yeah, she's actually almost up there with, uh, Sociant. At least until I give him his bow, anyway. Oh, yeah, and what do you have to say? What, they, li they literally give up being a bunny girl once they lose? That sounds weirdly dirty, but okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to you. But yeah, that reminds me, something I actually forgot to say earlier. I I didn't realize that uh, Tamron can equip that rune buckler there, so never mind about saving the, uh, the bunny. Uh, was a bunny gauntlet. Oh, you know what? We didn't go to the bar yet, did we? Not that it really matters. Yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, so the demon armies li literally left them alone because of that? You'd think that Ostracon at least wouldn't give a crap about that. Yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out that problem right now. Hmm. Not really... Don't really have a whole lot of confidence there, eh? Well... <laughs> next time you see a building flying in the sky, how are you gonna react? <laughs> or how do you think people are gonna react? Oh. Actually, this isn't... Uh, Great Ka Greater Kasha Island, I realize. Because that I we're actually gonna go there soon. <laughs> Because, yeah, that priestess isn't on this island. I mean, this is, is basically an island where we're at, where we're at, right? Oh, yeah, because he says, want to go to Great Kasha Island. Unfortunately, we can't go there yet. This is basically an island right here, isn't it? Yeah, even though, yeah, but it's not uh, that other one, which is that one right down there. Actually, did Small Kasha Island even appear on the map before? I never took any notice. What's with the line, man? Really? Okay. Oop. Food poisoning, huh? That happened to me once. Oh, great. Yeah, we have his medicine, but I don't know if I'm ever going to end up using it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you people are crazy. <laughs> Dude, how do you know we weren't the next ones in line? Well... 
How come there's no one in here now, and those people are waiting in line? Let me look over here. Lord Sociant? <laughs> Why did you think he wasn't? Great grading. Check this out! You recognize it immediately as a curse? It's just a big black rock, <laughs> basically. Boring, huh? Okay. Yeah, about this rock, it kind of has, like, uh, one of the country's rulers in it. <laughs> oh. What are you looking for? The book that conveniently tells you how to undo this curse? Let's try this book, huh? That's a weirdly uneven book. <laughs> So this curse is, like, something that's been dealt with before. It's, like, normal or something. Alright! And I'm so excited. Oh. Uh, sure. <laughs> Not like we have much other choice. What happens if I say, uh, no way? It's quite an interesting answer. Oh. Yeah, of course we have to do it, but... Yeah, I never tried saying no before. We? Who's we? Oh? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, where are we going? The abandoned mine? Let the adventure? And Waramo, the famous doctor, has joined the party! I don't know why he's joined the party. Because, uh, he's with us for this next very, 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 very short dungeon. And then he leaves the party and never comes back. So, yeah. Not to say that he's a bad character or anything, though. He's actually pretty decent all around. He's actually rather interesting. He also starts at level 60. And he has some, uh, all this equipment that's unique only to him. Uh, he's the only one that can equip it. It's useless to us otherwise. Uh, also, for example, his uh, scalpel, which is actually a long-range weapon. He throws it, weirdly. And the doctor's coat, which apparently is lined with diamonds and gundanium because it's the single most defensive piece of armor in the game. <laughs> Yeah, a doctor's coat is more defensive than armor made of steel. Okay. 110. Are you faster than him? Oh, for the time being, yes. So... Yeah, he's in... Oh, no, actually, you're in the right spot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, but... Oh, yeah, I don't need you up there. We'll just kind of move you back here for now. Whatever. Oh yeah, he also has an he also has that uh, ability of Tamron's where he can make another character uh, invisible for a turn, or at least until their turn comes up. But uh, not that it's really that great. But anyway, of course he is. Oh yeah, he's sick. So what experiments do we want to know? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then he leaves and never comes back, so... Okay, then. Anyway, I don't think anybody else really says much about him, but... Uh, yeah, we'll be going to the, uh... Mount... The... What was it? The mine! Next time on Let's Play Emerald Dragon! Arrivederci!